Saint Isidore of Seville, Latin, Isidorus Hispalensis, c. 560 the 4th of April 636 a scholar and for over 3 decades archbishop of seville is widely regarded in the catholic church as the last of the church fathers as the 19th century historian montalembert put it in an oft quoted phrase the last scholar of the ancient world at a time of disintegration of classical culture, and aristocratic violence and illiteracy, he was involved in the conversion of the Arian Visigothic kings to Catholicism, both assisting his brother Leander of Seville, and continuing after his brother's death. He was influential in the inner circle of Seisbet, Visigothic king of Hispania. Like Leander, he played a prominent role in the councils of Toledo and Seville. The Visigothic legislation that resulted from these councils influenced the beginnings of representative government. His fame after his death was based on his Etymologia, an etymological encyclopedia which assembled extracts of many books from classical antiquity that would have otherwise been lost. Life Childhood and education Isidore was probably born in Cartagena, Spain, a former Carthaginian colony, to Severianus and Theodora. Both Severianus and Theodora belonged to notable Hispano-Roman families of high social rank. His parents were members of an influential family who were instrumental in the political-religious maneuvering that converted the Visigothic kings from Arianism to Catholicism. The Catholic Church celebrates him and all his siblings as known saints. An elder brother, Saint Leander of Seville, immediately preceded Saint Isidore as Archbishop of Seville and, while in office, opposed King Luvigild. A younger brother, Saint Fulgentius of Cartagena, served as the Bishop of Astigi at the start of the new reign of the Catholic King Recaird. His sister, Saint Florentina, served God as a nun and allegedly ruled over forty convents and one thousand consecrated religious. This claim seems unlikely, however, given the few functioning monastic institutions in Iberia during her lifetime, Isidore received his elementary education in the Cathedral School of Seville. In this institution, the first of its kind in Iberia, a body of learned men including Archbishop Saint Leander of Seville taught the trivium and quadrivium, the classic liberal arts. Saint Isidore applied himself to study diligently enough that he quickly mastered Latin, and acquired some Greek, and Hebrew. Two centuries of Gothic control of Iberia incrementally suppressed the ancient institutions, classic learning, and manners of the Roman Empire. The associated culture entered a period of long-term decline. The ruling Visigoths nevertheless showed some respect for the outward trappings of Roman culture. Arianism meanwhile took deep root among the Visigoths as the form of Christianity that they received. Scholars may debate whether Isidore ever personally embraced monastic life or affiliated with any religious order, but he undoubtedly esteemed the monks highly. <inaudible> Bishop of Seville After the death of Saint Leander of Seville on 13 March 600 or 601, Isidore succeeded to the See of Seville. On his elevation to the episcopate, he immediately constituted himself as protector of monks. Saint Isidore recognized that the spiritual and material welfare of the people of his see depended on assimilation of remnant Roman and ruling barbarian cultures, and consequently attempted to weld the peoples and subcultures of the Visigothic kingdom into a united nation. He used all available religious resources toward this end and succeeded. Isidore practically eradicated the heresy of Arianism and completely stifled the new heresy of Asaphali at its very outset. Archbishop Isidore strengthened religious discipline throughout his see. Archbishop Isidore also used resources of education to counteract increasingly influential Gothic barbarism throughout his episcopal jurisdiction. His quickening spirit animated the educational movement centered on Seville. Saint Isidore introduced Aristotle to his countrymen long before the Arabs studied Greek philosophy extensively. In 619, Saint Isidore of Seville pronounced anathema against any ecclesiastic who in any way should molest the monasteries. Topic: <laughs> Second Synod of Seville, November 619. Saint Isidore presided over the Second Council of Seville, begun on the 13th of November 619, in the reign of King Seisbet, a provincial council attended by eight other bishops, all from the ecclesiastical province of Baetica in southern Spain. 
The Acts of the Council fully set forth the nature of Christ, countering the conceptions of Gregory, a Syrian representing the heretical Asaphali. Topic: <laughs> Third Synod of Seville, 624. Based on a few surviving canons found in the Pseudo-Isidorian Decretals, St. Isidore is known to have presided over an additional provincial council around 624. The council dealt with a conflict over the Sea of Asia, and wrongfully stripped Bishop Martianus of his see, a situation that was rectified by the Fourth Council of Toledo. It also addressed a concern over Jews who had been forced to convert to Christianity by Sizebit failing to present their children for baptism. The records of the council, unlike the first and second councils of Seville were not preserved in the Hispania, a collection of canons and decretals likely edited by St. Isidore himself. Fourth National Council of Toledo All bishops of Hispania attended the Fourth National Council of Toledo, begun on 5 December 633. The aged Archbishop St. Isidore presided over its deliberations and originated most enactments of the council. Through Isidore's influence, this Council of Toledo promulgated a decree, commanding all bishops to establish seminaries in their cathedral cities along the lines of the Cathedral School at Seville, which had educated St. Isidore decades earlier. The decree prescribed the study of Greek, Hebrew, and the liberal arts and encouraged interest in law and medicine. The authority of the council made this education policy obligatory upon all bishops of the Kingdom of the Visigoths. The council granted remarkable position and deference to the King of the Visigoths. The independent church bound itself in allegiance to the acknowledged king, it said nothing of allegiance to the Bishop of Rome. <laughs> Death Saint Isidore of Seville died on 4 April 636 after serving more than 32 years as Archbishop of Seville. <laughs> Work Isidore's Latin style in the Etymologia and elsewhere, though simple and lucid, reveals increasing local Visigothic traditions. Etymologia <laughs> <laughs> Isidore was the first Christian writer to try to compile a summa of universal knowledge, in his most important work, the Etymologia, taking its title from the method he uncritically used in the transcription of his era's knowledge. It is also known by classicists as the Origines, the standard abbreviation being Orig. This encyclopedia the first such Christian epitome formed a huge compilation of 448 chapters in 20 volumes, in it, as Isidore entered his own terse digest of Roman handbooks, miscellanies and compendia, he continued the trend towards abridgments and summaries that had characterized Roman learning in late antiquity. In the process, many fragments of classical learning are preserved which otherwise would have been hopelessly lost. In fact, in the majority of his works, including the Origines, he contributes little more than the mortar which connects excerpts from other authors, as if he was aware of his deficiencies and had more confidence in the stillus maiorum than his own. His translator Catherine Nell McFarlane remarks, some of these fragments were lost in the first place because Isidore's work was so highly regarded. Braulio called it Quaikinke Fir Sarita Benture, practically everything that it is necessary to know that it superseded the use of many individual works of the classics themselves, which were not recopied and have therefore been lost. All secular knowledge that was of use to the Christian scholar had been winnowed out and contained in one handy volume, the scholar need search no further. The fame of this work imparted a new impetus to encyclopedic writing, which bore abundant fruit in the subsequent centuries of the Middle Ages. It was the most popular compendium in medieval libraries. It was printed in at least ten editions between 1470 and 1530, showing Isidore's continued popularity in the Renaissance. Until the 12th century brought translations from Arabic sources, Isidore transmitted what Western Europeans remembered of the works of Aristotle and other Greeks, although he understood only a limited amount of Greek. The etymologia was much copied, particularly into medieval bestiaries. On the Catholic faith against the Jews Isidore's De Fide Catholica contra Iudios furthers Augustine of Hippo's ideas on the Jewish presence in Christian society. 
Like Augustine, Isidore accepted the necessity of the Jewish presence because of their expected role in the anticipated second coming of Christ. In De Fide Catholica contra Iudios, Isidore exceeds the anti rabbinic polemics of earlier theologians by criticizing Jewish practice as deliberately disingenuous. He contributed two decisions to the Fourth Council of Toledo, Canon 60 calling for the forced removal of children from parents practicing Crypto Judaism and their education by Christians, and Canon 65 forbidding Jews and Christians of Jewish origin from holding public office. Other works Isidore's other works, all in Latin, include Historia de Regibus Gothorum, Vandalorum et Suvorum, A History of the Gothic, Vandal and Subi Kings Chronica Majora, A Universal History De Differentes Verborum, A Brief Theological Treatise on the Doctrine of the Trinity, The Nature of Christ, of Paradise, Angels, and Men on the Nature of Things, a book of astronomy and natural history dedicated to the Visigothic king Sizebut. Questions on the Old Testament. A mystical treatise on the allegorical meanings of numbers. A number of brief letters. Sententiae Libri Tres Codex Sang, 228, 9th century. De Viris Illustribus. De Ecclesiasticis Officis. De Summo Bono. Topic. Veneration Isidore was one of the last of the ancient Christian philosophers, he was the last of the great Latin Church Fathers and was contemporary with Maximus the Confessor. Some consider him to be the most learned man of his age, and he exercised a far-reaching and immeasurable influence on the educational life of the Middle Ages. His contemporary and friend, Braulio of Zaragoza, regarded him as a man raised up by God to save the Iberian peoples from the tidal wave of barbarism that threatened to inundate the ancient civilization of Hispania. The Eighth Council of Toledo 653 recorded its admiration of his character in these glowing terms. The extraordinary doctor, the latest ornament of the Catholic Church, the most learned man of the latter ages, always to be named with reverence, Isidore. This tribute was endorsed by the 15th Council of Toledo, held in 688 and later in 1598 by Pope Clement VIII. Isidore was declared a doctor of the church in 1722 by Pope Innocent XIII. Isidore was interred in Seville. His tomb represented an important place of veneration for the Mozarabs during the centuries after the Arab conquest of Visigothic Hispania. In the middle of the 11th century, with the division of Al-Andalus into Taifas and the strengthening of the Christian holdings in the Iberian Peninsula, Ferdinand I of Leon and Castile found himself in a position to extract tribute from the fractured Arab states. In addition to money, Abd II al-Mutadid, the Abbasid ruler of Seville 1042 agreed to turn over St. Isidore's remains to Ferdinand I. A Catholic poet described al-Mutashid placing a brocaded cover over Isidore's sarcophagus, and remarked, Now you are leaving here, revered Isidore. You know well how much your fame was mine. Ferdinand had Isidore's remains reinterred in the then recently constructed Basilica of San Isidora in Leon. Today, many of his bones are buried in the Cathedral of Murcia, Spain. <inaudible> Legacy In Dante's Paradiso Isidore is mentioned among theologians and doctors of the Church alongside the Scot Richard of St. Victor and the Englishman Bede the Venerable. The University of Dayton has named their implementation of the Sakai project in honor of St. Isidore. His likeness, along with that of Leander of Seville and Ferdinand III of Castile, are depicted on the crest badge of Sevilla FC. The Order of St. Isidore of Seville is a chivalric order formed on January 1, 2000. An international organization, the order aims to honor St. Isidore as patron saint of the Internet, alongside promoting Christian chivalry online. Members, who may be men or women, receive a modern-day knighthood. References Primary sources The Etymology A Complete Latin Text Barney, Stephen A., Lewis, W. J., Beach, J. A. and Berghoff, Oliver Translators. The Etymologies of Isidore of Seville. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press, 2006. 
ISBN 0 521 83749 9, ISBN 978 0 521 83749 1. Castro Caridad, Eva and Peña Fernandez, Francisco. Translators. Isadora de Sevilla. Sobre la fe católica contra los judíos. Sevilla, Universidad de Sevilla, 2012. ISBN 978-84-472-1432-7. Troop, Priscilla, translator. Isidore of Seville's Etymologies. Charlotte, VT, Medievalms, 2005, 2 vols. ISBN 1-4116-6523-6-978-1-4116-6523-1, ISBN 1-4116-6526-0-978-1-4116-6526-1. Troop, Priscilla, Translator. Isidore's Synonyms and Differences, A Translation of Synonyms or Lamentations of a Sinful Soul, Book of Differences I, and Book of Differences II Charlotte, VT, Medievalms, 2012 EPUB ISBN 978-1-105-82667-2 Online Galleries, History of Science Collections, University of Oklahoma Libraries High Resolution Images of Works by Isidore of Seville in .jpg and .tiff format De Natura Rerum MSC, Nat. on the Nature of Things digitized by the Staatsbibliothek Bamberg. Topic. Secondary sources Henderson, John. The Medieval World of Isidore of Seville, Truth from Words. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press, 2007. ISBN 0-521-86740-1. Heron, Michael. On the Earliest Irish Acquaintance with Isidore of Seville. Visigothic Spain, New Approaches. James, Edward ed. Oxford, Oxford University Press, 1980. ISBN 0-19-822543-1. English, Bridget. Die Arts Liberals im Fruen Mittelalter. Stuttgart, 1994. Texts on Wikisource. Isidorus, Arch B.P., of Seville. Dictionary of Christian Biography and Literature to the End of the Sixth Century, 3rd ed., 1911. Isidore of Seville. Encyclopædia Britannica. 14, 11th ed., 1911. pp. 871 to 872. O'Connor, J. B. 1910. Street. Isidore of Seville. Catholic Encyclopedia. 8. Topic. Other material. The Order of Saint Isidore of Seville, st-isidore.org Jones, Peter. Patron Saint of the Internet. Telegraph.co.uk, 27 August 2006 Review of the Etymologies of Isidore of Seville, Cambridge University Press, 2006 Schachtman, Noah. Searchin' for the Surfer's Saint. Wired. Com, 25 January 2002 Topic. External links Quotations related to Isidore of Seville at Wikiquote Works written by or about Isidore of Seville at Wikisource <laughs>